but I want to move better too. It's the end of my day, uh, podcasted, did a bunch of pieces of content for markbell.com, got into some meetings, did a bunch of other stuff, um, had a, an amazing workout this morning, and uh, all that's left is to get my ass outside and hit up a run. I don't feel like it, but I'm going to go stick it out. You know, and the cool thing is that's inviting to me is that it's a walk run. So I get to walk some of it. So I'll walk for a little bit in the beginning and then I'll pick up and run. I have to change. I'm in my jeans right now. I got to change. And that's going to be kind of the main thing is just to like go F and change, you know, go do that and get that done. And then once I'm in my sweats, it'll be that much easier to think about running. So here. here. Hitting up a walk run with my boy Heidi right here. Uh, you hit a 385 deadlift today. Fucking awesome job. You're only thinking you're going to hit 330, right? Yeah, that's the most I wanted to do. I ended up going to 385. Damn. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel you keep walking. I, I feel great. I feel great, man. Um, and uh, how long have you been doing the carnivore diet for? Carnivore diet, I've been doing it for about a whole year. A whole year. I transitioned into keto following you and uh, Chris yep. when I came across you guys. Uh, but the carnivore diet, I've been doing for about a full year now. Damn, bro. Um, you mentioned to me a while back that you haven't had any cheats. No. Like in a really, like you don't even remember the last cheat you had. I, I couldn't even tell you when I cheated last, honestly. Damn. It's, it's one of those things, man, I worked so hard, I it, it's not appetizing to me anymore. How much did you used to weigh? The most I weighed was 405. Shit. And you almost deadlifted that today. I almost deadlifted that today. Oh, yeah. that's going to be a big number when you do that, huh? I can't wait. I can't wait. That's sick, man. I think I think you're just about two, three weeks away. You smashed the 385. Oh, thank you, brother. So a little form and a little technique uh, fixing, and you'll be, uh, you'll be well on your way. If you had to kind of list out, like, maybe just, like, two or three things... Let's get back to running, but you'll have to, or just try to list out two or three things that you think were the main factors in your uh, weight loss. My, the first thing is my daughter. I wanted to make sure I was around for her. Yeah, there's her motivation, huh? That's it, that was my biggest motivation. The second thing, I felt like I was failing my whole family because I'm not taking care of myself. Yeah. That, that was my second big thing. You know, and that, that's what really got me to kickstart everything is actually my daughter right awesome man and then like uh what's something that keeps you going now because you've gotten in good shape you loving uh are you digging getting stronger man I, as soon as you feel that you're getting a little bit stronger you'll never go back man every day i'm motivated <laughs> when i wake up every day i got so much energy i'm ready to smash it every day i bet when you were big when you were 405 pounds although you're a big guy probably felt kind of fragile and kind of hopeless in some right, ways right i it's like I, I wanted to feel sorry for myself all the time but for what i could have changed it a long time ago you know i'm just glad i got that wake-up call and i thought of my daughter right when i got that wake-up call what do you think about when somebody says oh man eat no carbs i can't do that that sounds crazy man i a lot of people told me that in the beginning they're like you're not going to have energy I got more energy right now than I did when I was eating carbs. <laughs> you know, the crazy part Yeah, you is, had excess energy on your body, yeah, and you feel way better now, right? Exactly. I feel 1,000% better. I got more energy when I wake up in the morning time. I'm ready to go. I wake up at 3.30 in the morning every day to go to work. How can people follow you, buddy? 
uh, go to the underscore carnivore underscore chef. There you go. We're gonna get back to it and concentrate on our workout. This is, uh, you know, we just keep gathering more evidence. This is evidence right here. You know, I always say this too, is you think it sounds crazy to not eat carbs. You think it sounds crazy to do a carnivore diet. How crazy does it sound if you think about what it could possibly do for you? Maybe you lose 50 pounds, maybe you lose 100 pounds, maybe you regain your health, maybe you meet the person that you're gonna spend the rest of your life with because you're in better shape, because you feel better about yourself and because you look better. Now it's gonna be easier to meet that special person. Now it doesn't seem so crazy anymore, does it? No. We're just seeing testimony off the testimonial it's undeniable the carnivore and keto diet can do for you. Let's go, man. Nothing changes. Stay tight, stay tight. Pull, pull, don't stop pulling. Easy, easy, easy. I know Hadi a little bit. I see him here in super training all the time. I don't know him, know him. Haven't had a ton of opportunities to talk to him for like at length. And uh, as I just said to you, like what if losing weight could be the thing that you, you end up through losing weight, you end up meeting the person you spend the rest of your life with. That's pretty crazy, right? And uh, Hadi was just sharing some stuff with me. Your yeah. girlfriend uh, has been training. You said she had a massive transformation. She did. She lost 70 pounds. Shit. And then how'd you guys meet? Um, we were, we crossed each other's path on Instagram. You know, we were in the same community. I'm carnivore. She's keto. She switched a lot to carnivore, you know, after talking back and forth. Yeah. Her nutrition is dialed in. Man, she fasts like better than anybody I ever know, I ever met. She's on her third day right now. Oh, fasting. shit. Damn. And then how, you guys kind of met, kind of through some of this process? Through? Yes. Just going back and forth, sharing the same, you know, struggles we had on our journey and stuff like that. And uh, that's great. Yeah, everything else led us here. Would you look at that? Time to get back to running. Just came back from the stove. Sometimes they're a little weird about me filming in there. So didn't want to disrupt them. Um, you didn't have your yogurt. Um, I got some beef patties, um, I got some pork belly, I got some ribeye, I got a bunch of yummy stuff. Look at all this stuff, huh? I got some sparkling water, I got some omega-3 eggs, the cheese is for the kids or whoever else. Got some other type of bacon, I got some Polish kielbasa, uh, or some Polish sausage, some cheddar cheese, Michael Hearn duck eggs, some butter. My kids like fruit, so I got some fruit. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's a company called Too Good. Look at that, Too Good. And it only has two grams of sugar uh, per thingy of yogurt. So anyway, gonna be cooking up a bunch of stuff, cooking up a bunch of steak, probably some burgers, maybe an omelet. I'm starving. Throw this right on the grill here. On this little griddle thing that we got. Hopefully I don't get popped. There we go, got some beef towel on there already. was a ribeye here at one point there was actually two of them but I think I inhaled them there was a bunch of pork belly over here but I inhaled those too and I actually threw this together because over here oh hi over here I threw the pork fat from cooking the pork belly I threw it into here and I'm about to make an omelet 
because I'm hungry. Got a bunch of egg yolks here. These are obviously the duck egg yolks. Look at how bigger, how much bigger they are than those guys. And this is a yolked omelet, everybody. I had about, there's about seven, six, or I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, six yolks, and uh, probably about three full eggs in here. Some of the other uh, whites are just right here. Whoop. Beat it up, beat it up. Mix her up. Got that pork fat cooking up in there. I usually, I usually actually throw this in the Ninja Blender. So I really like to have it well blended and then it just comes out so thick, comes out so good. There we go, that's almost ready. Probably need to turn this up a little bit over here. And I'm gonna throw actually a little bit of butter in there as well. Got that butter and pork fat going. Once it starts smoking, then you know we're good to go. See how it's starting to smoke a little bit? Got that good flame going. And we're gonna dump this in there. Ready? I should probably wait a little longer, but I just wanna keep eating, so here goes. That was pretty good with the sound effects. Tip upside down. I really like the flavor of yolks too, so I'm gonna leave all this just sitting in there. Cause why not? I'm not gonna rinse it out, I'm just gonna throw the eggs right in there. I'm gonna get a hold of my spatula and get going here. Just kind of mush this around a little bit. And then I'm already gonna shut this off. I'm gonna throw this in there. Almost killed myself. That's pork belly and ribeye. And this thing's done. So you can lay that. And I can't do this in one hand, so I'm gonna have to stop doing this, but this thing is done. Just made a killer omelet. A yoked omelet. Looks amazing. This plop down. Day's over. Watch some TV. Shovel some food in my face. Congratulations on wait, making it through three weeks of World Carnivore Month. Three weeks, uh, 21 days. That's that's a lot of days, and you should be really proud of yourself if you made it this far. If you haven't and you've fallen off, you're trying to get back on. You can still get back on. For those of you that haven't joined in yet, you know, start up tomorrow, and let's get rolling on this. We still got about 10 days left to that finish line. Keep working for it. Uh, keep keep working at it the best you can. Just do the absolute best that you can with it. It's not always gonna look perfect. It's gonna look ugly in the beginning. You'll be faithful to it for a day or two or three, and then you'll fall off. And then you'll be back on the diet for a day or two or three, and then you'll fall off. Remember, you're one meal away from being off the plan. You're one meal away from being back in. You're always just one meal away from being back in. So. Stick with, stick with it the best you can. Make sure you're hitting up those 10 minute walks. Make sure you're getting in some heavy lifting. These are all things that can really change and heavily impact your life. I'm uh, having a good time you know, filming all this stuff and it is uh, not easy to put out, this, put out these videos every single day, but I'm seeing the impact that it's having on all, all of you. So I appreciate all the feedback. I appreciate all the comments. Make sure you tell other people to subscribe. Make sure you tell people Mark Smelly Bell is where it's at on YouTube. Um, tag your friends, tell your friends about it, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing on the diet. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch you all later.